Hello everyone, welcome back to Milkshake Part 2 as promised. I'm Anjita and you're watching Simply Vegetarian. Last week I had uploaded two flavors, which I hope you loved it. If you watched that video, that was honey nuts and Oreo milkshakes. Well, if you haven't, then you can go down to the description box below and click on the link I have provided. And today is for coffee and chocolate lovers. Hope you'll enjoy this short video and easy quick recipe. So please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and like and share. Thank you. So in this second episode of my milkshakes, I'm going to show you how I prepared thick coffee milkshake and chocolate milkshake. What I'm doing here is chop a portion of this dark chocolate uh, into small pieces and the chocolate you use here is your choice. Here I'm using what I have, keep them aside and few larger portions transferred in a saucepan and this one I'll melt for later use. First I'll prepare the coffee one. Milkshake uh, recipes are the easiest one. Uh, that's if you get the idea to blend uh, different flavors as per your taste. The ratio for ice cream uh, and milk is the same, 3 is to 1 as I've done in my previous video. Uh, but you can slightly double it as per your glass size, whether you're using a tall glass or a short one. Now here I used uh, 1.5 teaspoon of coffee powder. This amount will be strong enough for me. If you want it more stronger, you can add. Here I'll not add any sugar. The sweetness in the ice cream, the vanilla plain ice cream is sweet enough for me. But if you feel you need more sweet, you can add sugar in it. And in any of my milkshakes, uh, the previous one also, I have not used any sugar. Now having added uh, ice cream, milk and coffee, blend them well. And uh, for best milkshakes, either use a hand blender like this one or a mixie. And I would suggest uh, do not use a hand whisk. And also, for those of you who prefer black coffee without sugar, I would say this should be a perfect uh, choice of milkshake for you. Give a short blend and transfer it in a serving glass. I'll keep this aside and carry on with the chocolate milkshake. Here again 3 scoops of ice cream, 1 third cup of full cream milk, 80 ml and a chopped dark chocolate. Give a quick blend and this one's ready as well. Now before I pour it in the serving glass, one more thing I did is quickly melted the chocolate I had kept in the saucepan. Keep the heat on low while uh, stirring continuously. Here we can also use a, a double boiler method to melt this chocolate. But because this uh, chocolate quantity is so less, I thought this would be more faster. But need to be extra careful not to burn the chocolate. This chocolate got melted within a minute. Now this part is optional for you. I just wanted to decorate the glass inside and serve it as they do it in the restaurant. Next pour the entire thing into the glass. Here goes my final decoration before serving. I use some cream to top them and this one's optional as well for you. That was all I had so I didn't fill it to the brim. Final touch with the cocoa powder on the coffee milk shake. The straw goes in and for the chocolate one quickly grated some chocolate on top. So that's it. Within 10 minutes, both the milkshakes were ready. So this was my quick summer dessert. And for those who love coffee and chocolate, this is the perfect summer break for you. So why delay? Hurry to your kitchen, prepare and enjoy. Till then, meet you in my next video with something savory and scrumptious. Which for now is a secret. See you all then.